Guys, what's going on? Your boy Amor here. Another review and a topic video today. Why the hell are Mercedes and Audi or the German bolts so goddamn expensive? I repeat, why are these bolts so expensive? Now, these bolts are dusty. Let's pick this up here. It's heavy as hell. Let's stick it on here because I'm lazy as hell. I don't want to bend over. 12 by 1.5 Euro bolts, baby. Famous for BMW, those three series. Those famous BMW 3 Series that you see cruising down all over the place where a guy's got a loud ass muffler, cheap ass haircut, an Ed Hardy t-shirt for 10 bucks, and a cheesy ass belt he bought from the flea market. So let's get down. Why the hell are these bolts worth so much? Right off the bat, let's get down to it. The original bolts that come with these vehicles are made in Germany. So let's scrap that thought because half the time they never ever, they're rusty, they never go back on. So this one here, made in China, by a manufacturer called Mr. Lugnut. Now they're mass produced, you can buy them in single pieces, you can buy them in kits. The kits alone sell for about 80 bucks where you can buy the bolts if I sell them or if I get them. This is a 12 by one and a half, let's see if the camera can zoom in on it. Man, forget it. Anyways, so this bolt here is probably working out to about two or three bucks per bolt. Now why is this so expensive? Right off the bat, first of all, it has weight to it, it's heavy. Production-wise, it's like any other nut or screw or bolt. To produce is not a big deal, depending on the strength and how hardened it is. Another factor is the weight. The biggest thing is the weight factor. When these bolts get imported from China, they have to come on a container. When they come on a container, they have to be boxed, they have to be packaged, they have to be shipped. Now this here probably weighs about 40 to 50 pounds in this container alone. The container weighs nothing, so this here weighs a lot. So right off the bat, those bolts have to be shipped overseas from China to here. The actual cost of this bolt is worth nothing. But the freight, the duties, and another, one, another thing you have to realize is that these bolts have to be tested, whether here or China, and meet certifications of TUV and have certain stamping and paper to be done, that this bolt will not fall apart or deteriorate because some guy in China sold out the back of his vehicle to you. So these have to be tested. This, this thing holds the wheel on the vehicle. So that's why these bolts are so goddamn expensive. So when you call or when you get priced and shop around and when they include this, like we give these costs, we give these away. If someone's buying a package, I usually include them, I bite the bullet or I'll give them at 60 bucks. But if you wanna go out and buy these at retail, you're gonna pay anywhere from 80 to 100 bucks. And someone else is selling them cheaper, I don't know how they're doing it. Most of the time they come in a kit, they come by either West Coast Wheels, Mr. Lugnut and whatever manufacturer there is. And a lot of them are coated. A lot of them are just cheap chrome vandium where they're going to rust in the very first snowfall or the rain. And basically, it's all about production costs, how they're made in China, and the exact costs that go into making these things. That's what you got to watch. And that's the reason why these things are so expensive. Thanks for watching. It's your boy Amar from Hilliard Dreamlines. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. Let's get done, baby. You know what time it is.